Hi folks, how you doing? Uh, my name is Steve Zielinski. I am the founder of Crazy Steve's Pickles and Salsa. Uh, this is our video and this is our story. Thanks for watching. In July 2009, I started making pickles and salsa from our home garden. It was a really big hit with our family, friends, co-workers. This wound up becoming the birth of Crazy Steve's Pickles and Salsa. Over the next six months, I started creating different types of varieties of pickles and salsa which were gluten-free, vegan-friendly, low-sodium, uh, they were all natural ingredients, unique flavors, and we used them in cooking as well as just on their own. I think things should be fun. If it's not fun, why do it? To quote Ben and Jerry. I wanted to create this product that would be funny and at the same time spark a thought, make you think, educate, inspire, and contribute to life. Pretty big order for a jar of pickles. Our flavors are a little bit more than half sour. It's a barrel style like a New York deli style pickle. We have one that's a little sweet, little sour. It's a dill pickle, almost like a gherkin. Our Cajun cuke is made with fresh jalapeno, onion, celery. There's 18 different spices that go into this pickle. Also makes a really nice dirty martini or a great Bloody Mary. We make a bread and butter style pickle called Let the Sun Shine and his brother is called Let the Insane Sunshine. It's sweet and hot, goes great on cheeseburgers, grilled cheese, or deli sandwiches. For salsas, we make our mango raspberry salsa, which we'll put on chicken, pork chops, or tilapia. Black bean and corn is our most popular. Our newest concoction is a cranberry habanero. We'll marinate pork tenderloin in this, we'll put it on grilled salmon, turkey, or warm brie. We make a green smoking salsa made with a tomatilla. It's got like a lime citrusy type flavor. We'll use that as a dipping sauce for scallops or shrimp. That, a pitcher of margaritas, Jimmy Buffett playing in the background, a hammock, a sunset, you're pretty good to go. Our last but not least is our mesquite fire roasted salsas, which we make in medium, hot, or insane. Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, this is Crazy Steve here in uh, Delaware at uh, Peppers on the Beach. And we're doing, uh, today we're doing a review of our uh, insane version of our mango raspberry. It's good. It's a good, it's a good salsa. All right, Farley? tomato comes in right away. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, smoky flavor. Uh, heat's on the back end. Really good. Very right. good. So thumbs up? I, absolutely. All right. Absolutely. Thumbs up, Thumbs man. up. Thumbs up. Pickles, this is our newest concoction here. Uh, this is our Let the Insane Sunshine. It's a sweet, like a bread and butter style pickle, but what we did is we infused it with uh, habanero peppers in the uh, brine. Uh, so you got a little sweet with a lot of heat there. Nice bread and butter pickle uh, consistency, I like that. Um, it's got a nice heat building, but not that bad at all, but flavor-wise, it's right up my alley. I, I enjoy that one. Really tasty. I taste more sweet than hot. Yeah. Um, definitely the bread and butter pickle is a good description. Um, that would be excellent on a cheeseburger, I can tell you that. Sweetness right up front. Great crisp pickle. Yeah, I like that too. You don't want a soggy pickle, do you? No, no. And I read the ingredients that does, you don't use pickle crisps or anything yeah. like that. Uh, uh, natural uh, stuff. Yeah, and it, to get a product like that, that crisp, nice work, man. Last year I started a cause called Pickles Against World Hunger, which I was able to get Mario Batali to sign five of our jars for. Okay folks, here's the deal. Um, we are currently in about 30 different grocery stores, uh, small mom and pop shops, some beer and wine places, and um, we just had Whole Foods um, in New Jersey. Two locations are interested in our product. So hopefully by next month we're gonna be in there. And this is where I need your help. Um, currently we're manufacturing it on our own after hours in a commercial kitchen. So uh, we're not getting in there until like about seven o'clock at night, not getting out till like two, three o'clock in the morning, and then we're going out and selling. Um, and I can't keep up with the current demand, which is a good thing. Um, and this is where you come in. Um, what we're looking to do is we have two co-packers that are looking at our product that are looking to manufacture it for us, which will be terrific. Um, to do the pickles, we're looking at about twelve to fifteen thousand dollars to get the first run done, and the salsas would be another about twelve to fifteen thousand dollars. So initially, what I'm looking for is at least if we get the pickles started, that would be great. Um, 
So with a contribution of $25, we will ship you out three jars of pickles and salsa uh, anywhere in the United States. For $60, we'll ship out eight jars of pickles and salsa. For $90, we'll include our Peace, Love, and Pickles Tour 2011 t-shirt. So we got a lot more information if you'd like right down there. And uh, we appreciate all your contributions. And just click on the button right over there. Thanks again for supporting our project. Watching the sun bake.